Hello, Pisces. It is the Sun Sage, and thank you so much for tuning into your February reading, where I am taking a look at the energies and making some predictions for you guys. Also, happy early birthday to you, February Pisces, um, who are receiving this message, and it is your birthday, or um, you receive this message like late February. So, happy birthday to you! All right, uh, Pisces. Let's see what's going on for you guys in February. All right, this is uh, for Pisces placements, okay? This may also resonate for cross-watchers of Pisces, okay? Ooh, you guys have love on the brain, <laughs> okay? So you have awareness. All right, what else we got going on for Pisces? You're becoming aware of something, all right? Mystery, something that's been hidden from you. Something that's actually still kind of hidden from you in February, but you're sorting through it and figuring it out. Um, you don't, let's see, waiting. Yeah, I was about to say, you don't have all the answers in February, but you're getting closer. It's like there's something here that you're getting closer. Um, there's definitely this big mystery playing out in your life. Uh, you guys will know what this is. You'll know what you're trying to figure out. You'll know what you're trying to learn. You'll know what information you're seeking, but you are, um, you know, searching for information or you're allowing it to come to you. I'll say it that way. Um, because I don't feel like you're like searching, right? But I do feel like there's some awareness. Okay. So, uh, you know, let's see how this pertains to you, Pisces. What's awareness about? Ooh, okay. King of Wands, a person you're interested in, a person that's interested in you or this could just be someone you are becoming more aware of okay um the king of wands is a dynamic very attractive very charismatic magnetic individual and so awareness of this person could be about you finally noticing wow you know, John in HR looks really good, right? Or it can be, you know, you're finding out more about this person uh, that you do deal with, okay, on some level. Um, so let's see what the King of Wands is saying. Leo energy here, also Aries Sagittarius, Seven of Swords, okay? So you could be becoming aware of like some lies and betrayal. This King of Wands feels like they are... I want to say they've been covering up something. And so they've been lying to you. You're becoming aware of it. They've been hiding something from you. And possibly distracting you with like their charisma. Like, hey, Pisces, how's everything? But like in the background, um, this is either like this person speaking negatively about you or I feel like you you would know who this person is. Okay, this doesn't feel like someone new. You would know who this person is and you're realizing that this person is a liar or has been lying to you with the seven of swords. Let's just call it what's, what's coming through. Um, What's the seven of swords here? Oh, okay. King of swords. So look, yes, I, I even feel like this person may tell on themselves. Okay, it's an energy with the king of swords here of... Um, somebody wanting to come clean. Okay. Very strongly that energy here. This person has definitely been, I feel getting away, uh, with being very like personable. They're very likable, possibly very popular with something. Okay. But this person feels like they're lying about something or they're keeping something from you. For some of you, you may become aware of some sort of like same sex dynamic playing out in your life. Okay. So that's, that's a, um, that's not the strongest energy, but it's definitely something that can be, uh, seen here with the King of Wands, Seven of Swords, King of Swords, but somebody is speaking the truth now. So somebody is actually admitting that they were keeping something from you. And with the King of Swords, they, they're, they're telling the truth, but on their terms in a very strategic way. Okay. This is kind of gaslighter energy, but okay. Cause this person still seems like they want to cover their own ass here. It's the King of Swords. These are masculine energies very strongly coming through. Yeah. This person basically exposes themselves, the tower. <clears throat> so
So King of Swords Tower, this is like shocking information. This is someone's shocking actions, behavior, even their shocking words or shocking lies coming to the light. Somebody's, uh, oof. all right, just got, okay. So this is somebody, you know, Six of Cups. I, I did pick up where somebody could be lying about a legal situation. Seven of Swords, King of Swords, the Tower, lying to a lawyer or about a lawyer. So that'll be specific for a situation, but I definitely get that where there's a lawyer that's um, lying. What's the Tower here? Uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Scorpio, the Will of Fortune. The truth is coming out and it's going to change things for you. The Tower with the Will of Fortune. Let's see what it changes. The Ten of Cups. All right. So I feel like um, you've been kind of sheltered or protected from something. Yeah, there's the Seven of Wands. I feel like that's what this king it may even be two king energies, two masculine energies who may say, we were only trying to protect you. Okay. I feel like this is going to make you feel very defensive because it feels like what's being hit, hidden from you, what's being kept from you is something that it's really a shock because it changes your life, right? With the Ten of Cups here, it changes your happiness or how you look at happiness or how you have to move forward in happiness. Okay. Um, somebody is more strategic than you know. They would say... They have to be. They're protecting something. They will even say that they've been trying to protect you. I think the Ten of Cups is also about being relieved that you have the truth. And so now you can move forward with some some happiness there. Okay. Even if you're still like defensive. Okay. And, and very like resistant to this person. Let's see what mystery is about for you, Pisces. That's like the moon energy or the high priestess, the five of swords. Okay. This is a loss. Okay. Someone's taking a loss. All right. It doesn't feel like a, a, a loss of a person, but it's a loss of you could lose respect for someone. The hermit. If you are wondering why somebody has been shutting you out, closing you out of their life, isolating you, I feel like this person has been making moves behind the scenes to move forward without you. Okay. And so you could feel like this part, like defeated somewhat. Okay. Some of you, this, you're going to become the mystery in February because you may go into hiding. Okay. You may feel like that's the best way to sort of combat dealing with um, what looks like manipulative energies around you more than one. More than one person has been lying to you is what I'm getting. But one of those people that has been lying to you is like, I'm not going to keep lying to Pisces. Okay. And so the five of swords and the hermit, it also feels like um, you have a little bit of conflict between doing the right thing, the inner work, or, you know, going low, <laughs> you know, getting petty here. Virgo energy with that. What's the uh, five of swords? the nine of cups in the reverse. You feel like somebody played with your, your life or your happiness. You could feel like somebody took something from you with the nine of cups in the reverse. You were so close to wish fulfillment or you were so close to getting something you want, but somebody's strategizing and calculating movements behind the scene. They got to it first or something. What's the nine of cups in the reverse? This is also like collaboration energy. Two people collaborating to keep something from you. Five of pentacles. This is a loss, okay? A loss of opportunities, a loss of position, a loss of uh, I'm getting bad reputation. Like somebody feels like they 
you possibly were moving genuinely and sincerely in a situation, but this person the entire time was kind of like smiling in your face, maybe disarming you with their charm, um, saying what they had to say so that you wouldn't take action against them or so that you wouldn't like they were very strategic. They feel like, you know, this was a way to keep you somewhat restricted. OK, from any actions you took towards them. OK, it could have played out in a legal way, too. OK, that would make a lot of sense if this played out legally. Um, this could even be like some sort of uh, arrangement um, that you come to with somebody in the privacy of your own home. But then you go to court and they say something totally different from your agreement. So it's kind of like that you're blindsided by this energy. And you feel this loss. You feel like being petty, but you also feel like. You want to retreat. What's the five of pentacles? You feel like somebody left you out in the cold. They didn't fill you in. Ace of cups, five of pentacles, ace of cups. I'm going to show you the high priestess in the, at the bottom in a second, but, um, this almost feels like, cause what is this coming through with mystery? You could feel like somebody didn't have real love for you. This could have been something you intuitively inspected or expected. I think, yeah, expected. You could have been like um, giving this person a chance or feeling like this person, okay, maybe I'm paranoid. Maybe I'm exaggerating. You know, maybe they're not that bad. And then they turn out to be that bad to you. So the five of pentacles and the ace of cups, you almost feel like your heart loving someone or caring about someone got you in this predicament. This person is shutting you out, though, with mystery or you're shutting this person out. <clears throat> it's just that very strongly two masculine energies show up in the beginning of your reading. Neither of those energies are technically yours. So this feels like something about to blindside you. And um, what I'm almost getting is that you don't see it coming. And also people on the outside. It's going to be hard to explain it to get people on your side. And that's exactly what this person wanted. All for love. Because you love someone, because you cared about someone. All right. So waiting. Let's see why we have waiting. <clears throat> Queen of Pentacles. You could be waiting for a promotion. You could be waiting for um, a financial opportunity to come through. It feels like this is taking place more so in your personal life. All this drama while your professional life is seeing more. Um, uplifting news. Okay. Uh, some of you are definitely waiting for a promotion. You have some financial goals you're trying to reach here and you need this promotion. The Hierophant. Okay. Yeah. It's a promotion within an organization, within a workplace. So yeah, you're waiting to be at the top here. I feel like that's where you're headed, Pisces. You're waiting to succeed in something that you're doing professionally. Okay. Knight of Swords. If someone has promised to help you or someone has promised you some type of business opportunity, after all of this drama, because somehow it feels connected now, you could be waiting to see if this opportunity is still going to move forward or fall through because now it feels tied together the five of wands literally this feels like it's intertwining so you could have been it's almost kind of like a blackmail thing and it doesn't have to be that right but it's just an example um of someone feeling like um they needed you on their team for something they needed you to cooperate okay and once you find out information and you may start to be defensive and act out of the way they want you to, this person possibly could threaten this opportunity. Okay. Um, gatekeep this 
a promotion from you. This could be a workplace thing. Yeah, death in the reverse. So, yeah, it's almost like somebody has the power. Someone looks like they've put their... um their success in someone else's hands. So anything, if you don't please this person behavior wise, they can end it or they can like, this person looks like someone who can play with like your livelihood. Okay. With death in the reverse, they're saying that they won't in February, but you've trusted them before. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, very strongly in this. The Fool. Yeah, you've trusted this person before. <clears throat> um, There is an individual who has the power to block a new beginning for you. So it's almost like they are waiting to see how you behave in a certain situation where they have done something underhanded to you to see if they help you or give you this opportunity or help you with this opportunity. Be very careful of, you know, codependency because I feel like you're headed for the top. And then this Knight of Swords, which can quite literally be some type of interference um, of someone rushing in or someone, you know, suddenly, you know, coming in and changing the dynamic of the situation feeling like they control that, whether you're able to move forward or not, whether you're able to take this, this opportunity or not. Okay. So that's very strongly coming through in, in February for you. Okay. So Pisces, that is what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you would like a personal reading, check out the sunsage.com. The link is in the description box.